G'day folks, Luke Fitzpatrick here for Fish and Boat Magazine. I've come into Camping World and Complete Angler in Maryborough to talk about this fish right here, caught by local angler Paul Chu. It's a massive barramundi. I'm joined by Andrew Coyne, who works here in the store. Mate. How are you, Luke? Good, mate. How did he catch it and where? Um, big Paul, he doesn't let on too much, but... Um... <laughs> I know that he got it in the in the upper reaches of the Mary here. Um, make and model of the lure, I'm not 100% sure on, but he did let on that he was using um, blades, vibes, and some shallow diving hard bodies, and just working the snags and the um, deeper holes up the top of the river there. He he did say that Barra was short for barrage, I think. When, nah, just kidding, Paul. <laughs> we wouldn't do that to you, mate. So. Um Awesome to see fish like that being pulled out of the local river here, the Mary River on the Fraser Coast. You may have noticed also, we've been advertising the Yakamito range of lures in the magazine lately. We've got the entire range right here behind us and I really wanted to come in store today to ask Andrew, what is the most popular lure that you're selling out of this range and what are people catching on it? Um, lately we've probably been selling uh, mostly soft vibes um, purely because they're, they're just effective in so many different species of fish, um, particularly barra and salmon in the river, so, and they're really easy to use too, so you just, um, they just sink to the bottom and you can work them in heaps of different ways, so slow hops, um, yeah, they're, they're just a great all round lure, so worth having in your tackle box. Awesome. Okay, now we're coming into November here on the Fraser Coast. The water temperature's warming up. The air temperature's certainly warming up. Can you give us a bit of a forecast, mate, during November? Uh, what's going to be caught and roughly where? Just to give give folks a bit of a chance. Um, well, the river will, river will take a little bit of time to clear up, I think, after all the rain we've had. But um, certainly the straits are still fishing, fishing well. Um, I reckon two to three weeks with a few more sets of big tides and yeah, the river should clear up nicely and be back to the bar and salmon again. Um, well, you know yourself with the flathead and that, they're yep. still a little kicking around. and Got a couple of nice ones yesterday actually. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What about crabs? Have you heard if the crabs are on the march or anything like that? Yeah, after that rain they've um, certainly been on the move. I know down at um, Puna, Chuan, Carry Creeks, they're all starting to get some nice muddies down there. Um, I haven't personally been, but I have heard some good reports. Yeah, yeah. What about whiting? And uh, I know flathead yesterday, I got flathead out towards Begimba and the, the flats from Begimba basically through to Moon. What about uh, whiting and things like that? Yeah, a couple of the local guys that have been coming in, um, getting your sugar pens and all other sorts of surface poppers. They've been doing well on the flats down at Bunaroo and Puna, stuff like that, just um, working the flats. Yeah, yeah, nice. And threadfin salmon and barra, the close season, 1st of November for barra. Yep. But the threadfin salmon still in good numbers around the place. Yep, they should really pick up around that time of year too. Yeah. One thing I really notice on the Fraser Coast is if we get this good rain through spring, wait for the jelly pawns to really fire up. And once they start firing up, the threadies move up into the shallows and they're awesome fun to sight cast at. Go and over and watch Luke's video if you want to learn how to. <laughs> How to lose one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Right, mate, we've spoken about the uh, the Mary River and the Sandy Straits. What about some of the other summer species that might be starting to fire up during November? Um, yeah, mate, if you, if you get a good run at weather, you can always shoot up the island. Plenty of species kicking around up there still. So your mac tuna, long tails, um, Yakamito also do a a good little uh, little slug there in the sedge in the 40 gram. Yep. It's been dynamite on the speedsters. Um, yeah, so it also I guess you still get your mangrove jack and all that pushing up into the creeks, um, carry creeks, uh, all the creeks around Tinnambar. Yeah, yeah. They're really popular for the jacks. Um, you've been getting some good queenies on the flats. Yeah, yeah, just off uh, Moon Point actually. I was out there on the weekend and yesterday again, uh, sight casting them just off the beach. And then uh, I moved into the channels between Big Woody Island and Fraser Island and there was acres and acres of tuna there and I was actually throwing that exact lure um, and scoring mac tuna and long tail tuna which was really good. Yeah I think um, also too, two to three weeks once this water clears up, um, the artificial reef we should start seeing some good trout, grassies, 
all that sort of stuff showing up again. So there'll be plenty of bait around after this rain, so it should be really good for that. Yeah, that's probably actually the bait is one thing I want to pick on a little bit, is uh, when I was chasing the tuna yesterday, uh, I noticed they were very fixated on small bait fish getting around. Um, and I found that once the sun got up into the sky a little bit, they became very, very skittish. Uh, so the key that I found to getting a good hookup rate was casting into them very, very early before that sun got up and using the smaller profile lures uh, to hook hat. a fish. Yeah, matching the hats, that's exactly it. Nice. So folks, the reason I've come into Complete Angler today is exactly what Andrew's just provided to us. It's local knowledge, local fishing knowledge on what is being caught and where it's being caught. Got to remember, the staff in the Complete Angler stores are talking to fishos every day of the week. They're really in tune with what is going on in your waterways, and you just can't get that sort of information online. You've really got to go in and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So get into your local Complete Angler store. If you need to know where your local Complete Angler store is, look up on the website, completeangler.com.au. Thanks for your time today, mate. Really no appreciate worries, it. Cheers, guys. And. Uh, Let's see if we can go find some of these.